It says it's 10 a.m. on a sunny Saturday morning and the family room at London's Chelsea and Westminster Hospital is bustling. 20 women from every stage and walk of life sit around a small coffee table stacked with open packets of eggnog biscuits. Interesting. They arrive smiling, basking in the new discovery that they are not alone. As the meeting continues, the women tell of their agonizing struggle and the others nod along in unison. This is not an AA meeting, but a patient support group for women with an itchy skin condition affecting the most intimate area of the body, which is the vulva, the vagina, and the back passage. So members of the so-called Chelsea Lady Garden Club so far a relatively unknown ailment known as lichen sclerosis. So this is plaguing almost a million British women. I think they refer to a million British women because this was originally printed in a British newspaper. It affects American women, it affects Australian women all over the world. So it causes severe inflammation and irritation in the area on or near the genitals. But the skin is not just itchy. It is cracked, blistered, ulcerated, and dotted with white patches. Often scars form, tightening the sensitive area and making both urination and sex agonizing. In about 3% of sufferers, the inflamed blisters can develop into a form of skin cancer called squamous cell cancer spelled S-Q-U-A-M-O-U-S. So, the vast majority of these cancers are curable with an operation to remove the lump, but they can spread to nearby lymph nodes. Now, experts have warned that unnecessary embarrassment is putting hundreds of thousands at risk of debilitating and potentially life-threatening consequences. A dermatologist um, named Dr. Sharon Larkhani says that women regularly check their breast, and it's a subject that, thanks to national campaigns, is no longer taboo. Now it's time for women to discuss problems with their genitals too. It could save their life. So, there was Emma Norman, 36 years old. She said she suffered with lichen sclerosis since she was a child. She says, and I quote, as a teenager, going to the toilet was excruciating and using a tampon was out of the question. She said, when I went for my first smear, the nurse asked if I'd been sexually abused. I wasn't able to have full intercourse with my partner until I was in my mid-20s. Afterwards, I had to leave a gap of about three months to allow the skin to heal. So sad. So Emma, who is a cleaner, wasn't diagnosed until the age of 22, when she was referred to a gynecologist who performed a long-awaited biopsy. Since then, she's undergone several skin graft, and she uses a sterile cream once a month. Sadly, much of the damage to Emma's skin is irreversible. Now she has no interest in having a relationship due to tearing and bleeding during intercourse. She said her life revolves around containing flare-ups with the steroid cream. So sad. If detected early, lichen sclerosis is easily treated in most cases with a potent steroid cream to calm the inflammation. But due to the stigma attached to the condition, most people suffer in silence and they remain unaware of this simple solution. So I'll just stop right there because this was actually taken, extracted from the Daily Mail website. It's a really important article that actually focuses on women n- needing to actually take seriously whatever is going on in our body. As women, we need to know that The doctors have seen it all. There's no need to be embarrassed about actually getting yourself checked out. So important. So, so important. So I'll just briefly read this part before I conclude. So how how you can relieve the misery 
So this was written by Dr. Clay Fuller, who is a dermatologist. So what you can do, wash with water only or use aqueous cream or emulsifying ointment as soap substitute. Dry yourself carefully after using the toilet to reduce the contact of urine with your skin. Use a soft paraffin such as Vaseline or cream with hydromol or epidem over the area each morning and evening. It's good. Vaseline is actually really good. Wash your hair in the sink to avoid shampoo coming into contact with the vulva area and also wear loose fitting underwears. So those are the do's, things that you can do to help. And these are the don'ts. I'll just read them out. Don't use perfumed soap and gels. Bubble baths, avoid them. Antiseptics or vagina wipes, avoid them. Those ones can actually be really bad for you, the vagina wipes. So be careful with those. Wash your underwear with fabric conditioners or biological washing powders. Don't do that. Don't use colored or bleached toilet tissue. Don't try trash treatments that are not prescribed to you by your GP. Don't delay in visiting the GP if you notice significant skin changes that may indicate a cancer, specifically persistent skin thickening or soreness. Please go to your doctor. It's really important. There's no need to be embarrassed. Male or female doctor, they've seen it all. They know it all regarding the human body. Good luck.